Hello everybody, welcome back to the Terraria Master Yo-Yo playthrough. Alright, so our fishing adventure went very well. We've completed around 50 quests and opened about 100 crates. Uh, we have every quest item except for the bottomless honey bucket. Two big items that I got from the crates were the fledgling wings and the demon conch shell, which means we're only one item from crafting a shell foam. Uh, so I spent about 30 minutes recording, but somehow I hit the pause button, not sure how it happened. I did craft a summon for the goblin army, uh, which actually went pretty well. Uh, after the invasion, I went and found the goblin tinker within the first minute. So I, I did buy the tinker's workshop and the rocket boots. I've already done all of the tinkering, everything's combined, and everything has been reforged. Uh, so we're heading to the arena, we're going to pick a fight with Skeletron. And I feel pretty confident that this fight is going to go much, much better than our previous attempt. Uh, we have almost double the defense from the last one. We've increased damage by quite a few percent. And we've got gear that improves movement. Uh, we also have a nice collection of buff potions. And it's nighttime, so let's go ahead and buff up and talk to the old man so that we can hurry up and get into the dungeon. So the wings really seem to make a big, big difference. We're able to go up and over without any issues. I mean, we are getting hit, but we've got really good defense, so it's not doing a whole lot of damage. Probably should have removed some of these platforms because really don't need them now. So just to make it a little easier, I'm going to try to break the hands around the same time because uh, as soon as one hand is gone, he starts spitting out skulls. Which means this is going to be something extra to avoid along with an additional hand. So I'm going to try to break them around the same point. So there's one gone. And he's got some skulls popping out now. As long as we can stay ahead of them and above them, they should miss so there's his other hand is gone we just we're down to the head and damages i mean his health bar is moving pretty quick so this is going very well we just have to avoid most of the skulls they're not they're really not doing a lot of damage either but they do some knockback which means we could get stuck in a bad spot if we get hit the wrong time we're down less than half health and we still have plenty of time left. Uh, it is only 10 o'clock. We still have six hours. And he's down about quarter health. It's going extremely well. I knew it was going to be easy, but I wasn't expecting it to be this easy. Now, hopefully our Skeletron Prime fight goes just like this. Alright, Skeletron is done. Now we have access to the dungeon. So this is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and get ready to teleport out and go drop our trophy. We're going to place this trophy. We did this in under four minutes because this Inferno potion only lasts for four minutes. So let's pop down our Skeletron trophy. And there we have it. We have five boss kills at this point. Alright, so yeah, super exciting. We are done with another boss let's head over to the ocean all right we're heading to the dungeon for a quick first look um it's no longer guarded by the dungeon guardian so let's just go ahead and get in and see what we have oh my god are you serious all ready with the traps this is poison that we have that will that get rid of our poison yes so we can just pop that over if we do get poisoned but i do want to grab some of these water candles so we can use these for farming we are looking for the tally counter and the valor yo-yo the valor yo-yo is going to be inside of the locked golden chest so let's work our way into the dungeon we're not going to spend a lot more time in the dungeon other than that i am trying to find oh hey we have a bound mechanic 
Does she have anything that we want to buy right now? I think we can hold off on this. Okay, we could potentially use teleporters when we fight the mechanical bosses, if it comes to that. But I'm hoping not. And we have our first golden chest here. We need some keys. Let's head down here and see if we can find any anything with keys. Let's clear some of these blocks out of the way in the process. Also, let's drop lots and lots of torches. Okay, so now we have some light. Oh, we have stuff coming. We have skeletons. Oh, look at that. We are still doing fire damage because we still have a flash. So there's our first key. Let's get rid of these spikes because if we have to come back down here, I don't want to... I don't want to be stepping on these. So we have our first key. I mean, we still need the tally counter, which drops from the mages and the cursed skulls. Let's see what we get. Uh, nothing. I'm not going to keep most of this. We do need the bones. Let's head over to the right. And I think we'll take this alchemy table for our potion crafting. Let's drop some more torches. Um... Excuse me, but we have a shadow key and a suspicious eye, and we'll keep all of the stuff up here that we're going to try to keep. And we find the yo-yo, or are we going to have to fish for it? So if we open all of the gold chest and we can't find a yo-yo, we can fish in the dungeon. No, we don't have any more keys. Can you give us a key, please? Can you give us some keys? So these are the ones that drop our tally counter all through this area. Hey, we got more pathways. Hey, we got our tally counter, which means now we can craft our shell phone. Oh, there's another key. Let's see if we get lucky with the yo-yo. We can get out of this. Oh, we got another tally counter. So the drop rate on the tally counter is pretty high. We got a yo-yo? Oh, we do. We have the Valor yo-yo, which means we're going to have to cut this episode kind of short. So I think we have enough bones, right? Yeah, we got over 200 bones. Let's take this chest. Let's go ahead and just get out of here before we have our demise. We are at seven health, but we have a Valor. And even without a modifier, that is 37 damage. So let's go reforge. So we're going to craft the Rec 3000. Now that we have the tally counter, the PDA, cell phone, and now we have the shell phone, which replaces our magic mirror. And then we have our home ocean underworld and spawn locations marked. And if you listen closely, you can hear something about your car's warranty. So let's reforge this yo-yo. How expensive it is, only two and a half gold. Demonic on the first one, that works. I'm good with that. 14 damage, critical strike chance. Uh, that puts us up to 40 melee damage on it. Massive, massive upgrade from our demonic high five, which we will drop in the chest. Uh, we do have spores. And we have tissue samples. We have bones. So we do have everything that we would require for the void vault in the void bag. So we have a minecart track that has an easy to access altar. Let's go ahead and head down there. I'm going to take another shine potion just to brighten it up and in the night owl potion so we can craft the void bag and the void vault i think we take our new valor to the underworld and start farming this cascade yo-yo every mob down here has a chance of dropping the cascade at a one in 400 chance which isn't the greatest chances we might be down here for a while maybe we'll get lucky now we'll come in here next episode and start working on an actual bridge or the wall of flesh. And I have a feeling it's going to be a very tough fight. Oh, we got a cascade. Check that out. Definitely didn't take 400 tries. That means we are geared up. So let's put this back to home and spawn out of here and go reforge. Godly. We have a godly cascade. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.